Hi, it's Kelly here, and today we're going to talk about some things that are probably more pertinent to your life every moment, every day, every, every hour, every every month than some of the courses you took in school. For me, it was trigonometry. You might have a different class. I, I didn't really understand the purpose of trigonometry, and I never used it, you know, since. That was over 50 years ago. You might have some classes you think about like that, too. This is going to be really, really pertinent to you, uh, really tremendous, particularly in the year 2020, where we have so many challenges. And I, oh, by the way, my claims of the fame are I'm the author of that book you're looking at, Shameless Plug, and I'm the inventor of the Heartfelt Energizer and the Whirling Bliss Machine. And this is something that you can do at home, you can make yourself. And let your imagination be your guide. You can do it all kinds of different ways. I just wanted to show you this latest uh, pyramid that I've added, and we're going to deep dive. We're going to go into some things that are pretty friggin' extraordinary. And the beautiful part is you don't have to remember it. All you got to do is turn it on based on whatever it is that you do. And even one pyramid, they're called Orgone, and I might go into that later, or you can look it up, O-R-G-O-N-E. And it's, it, it's, it's phenomenal what is happening in my life with this, and it's so extraordinary. Um, so I want to start out with things that are maybe easier to grasp. Um, and, and why this thing that looks funny would be so powerful. And they don't have to be pyramids, they just need to be orgon, O-R-G-O-N-E. And what Oregon is, is it capitalizes on the combination of conductors and insulators. You know, in a radio, you have conductors and insulators. The, the conductor is what enables you to pick up the, the stream from miles and miles away. And the insulator is what makes it smooth so that you can hear it. Because as you know, if, if you have a, even a little bit of static, it gets pretty irritating pretty fast. The insulating makes it smoother and in effect makes it more powerful because the interference is is subtracting from the, from the message that you're getting from a distance. So you could probably hear things from a further distance based on the insulators that you have. So that's what Oregon does. It just takes those two factors and combines them together. I hope you like the chimes that are in the background. At least I hope they're in the background. Um, anyway, so that's what this is all about. And it's about turning that insulation and conducting and multiplying it by rotating it. You know, your radio sits there, it doesn't move. I don't know what would happen if you rotated your radio. But in the case of this, putting it on a, on a turntable, it accelerates the performance. I got this idea from a guy named George Zlakowski who died back in 1941. He, he invented some things that were curing people of cancer and doing other spectacular things back in the 30s. And he wrote in his book that came out in 1939 that if it, there was movement, he would increase the power. But he never got around to it because he got hit by a car and, and he died two days later. So I thought, well, let me try it. Let's see if we add the movement to it. Now, he didn't invent Oregon or come up with Oregon, but his invention was based on the very same principles as Oregon. It, just, it looks entirely different, but they're, the bottom line is they're the same thing. All right? So, Oregon, people find that they get into it, it produces a mild... Uh, sense of well-being and things like that. Very, very mild and very, you know, you got to have it nearby you in order to really feel it. By the way, what's on the turntable at this moment I put on low just so you could see it for the visual effects. Otherwise I run it on high because the faster it's moving, the, the more powerful it, it is. And you just have to take my word for that at this point. And maybe somebody can prove it or disprove it. But I'm not interested in that. I just can tell how it feels. So, so now, we've got this electrical energy that enables us to hear, you know, 
like with a radio or a TV, we can get the reception even though the station might be 10 or 20 miles away. And nowadays they can be, you know, with uh, whatever cable or whatever, you can do it from hundreds of miles away. All right? Same thing here. It's moving. And as a result, I gave an example in another video. I have a friend who has OCD, and she lives a block away. And her, one of her quirks is, is that on the phone, she would get disturbed by me interrupting her even with the slightest word. You know, I would think I was trying to agree with her, let her know I was listening. I would say yes or wow or something like that, and it would throw her off. And it impressed me as being it was something part of her OCD. And sure enough, when I set the first one up, and it's different than this one, but it doesn't matter, that the first one up, ever since then, on the phone, I can interrupt her with those single kind of words, and I can even interrupt her with full statements, and it doesn't seem to bother her, unless I, unless I do it too much, which, of course, it would bother anybody. So I know that this shoots out further. A gentleman at 25 miles, 2,500 miles away who's blind, he's had organ transplants, he's in his middle 60s. He saw the video, one of the videos, and then we talked about it briefly on the phone. He tuned into it, and he reorganized a room uh, for eight hours. He's legally blind, so he doesn't see very well. And at the end of the eight hours, he said he didn't feel tired, and he barely ate that day, during the day. So the energy, by tuning into it, it can go really, really far, just like the TV station can go far. Now, I don't know if I should go into this other part, because this is going to be a deep dive. Uh, before I get to that, I do want to say, just start with one. Orgone pyramid or orgone disc. It can be any shape. Just attach it with a double double-sided stick room, as you might be able to see in the video on the outside there. It holds them in place perfectly well. And then you can move them around. Don't, I wouldn't glue them because now you can, move them, you, know, you can move them around. If you really want to use a record player for other things, you might put an old record on there you don't like and, and, and tape them onto there. However you want to do that. Let your imagination be your guide. Another person said they wanted to put it on a thing that would rotate at 2,000 revolutions per minute. And if you're if you know how to do those things safely, you really know how to work with it, then I would say go for it. You know, if, you know that's up to you. I don't have any, you know, and I recommend a lot of people who are familiar with using routers or lathes, if you know how to do it safely, 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 go ahead and do that. By the way, the new pyramid that I've added is in the center. I, the hole was drilled a little off-center because if you can see that white ball, my drill could not drill anything into the white ball, so mine is off-center, which could be really fine because it's 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 uh, the, the non-centric part of it might be really good. I don't know. But anyway, so now about that deep dive on how powerful this is and how powerful and fast it can work in the year 2020. We would think that looking at what's happening with 2020, now they're talking about going into the spring or the summer with shutdowns and, and garbage, right? And we, so it's like it's really hard to change things because people who are in power are, are extending things out. Well, this stuff is electrical, so it works instantly, just like it worked with my friend Peggy. It worked instantly with her. She's still, even a month later, I don't know how long it's been now, a month later, I can interrupt her, and it's not a problem. So, and it worked instantly. It's electrical. It's like if we had a stadium full of light bulbs connected to one on-off switch. If I turn on one on-off switch, how many light bulbs will go on? Just about all of them, right? Unless you've got cheap Christmas lights. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? you got a good connection. All the bulbs are good. You hit the one switch and all the light bulbs, if you had 80,000 seats, every light bulb would go on. Right? And all the ones above the stadium, you know, boom, they all go on. 
for one switch. That's how fast this can work. So we can we can change 2020 as fast as the light bulb goes on because in people's consciousness they can be changed instantly. Or at least enough critical mass can be changed instantly to change everything so that this becomes the final two months of 2020 will be the best months of our lives and so good that they that we forget about the previous 10 months. All right? Now, I, well, you want to go a little deeper than that. Because this is we're talking about electricity. Our brains work on electricity. That's why EEGs work. Our hearts work on electricity. That's why EKGs can be done to read how your heart is working. And I would submit to you that your entire body runs the same way because every one of your nuclei have uh, microtubules and the microtubules are like electric flutes. They have fingers that run across the top of them. They have coils and we know that they generate voltage that organize our DNA so that the DNA can be strung together. Now, pulsed waves, which are the unnatural waves that we get from G1, G2, G3, G4, G5, you know, Wi-Fi, all this different stuff is pulsed. And they're like alarm clocks that can interfere with the microtubules that, that connect your DNA together in long strands. If that's interfered with with a constant pulse, like a cell phone, like a telephone ringing that won't stop or an alarm clock that won't stop, that disturbs the microtubules and that could impact this the stringing together of your DNA so it snips them in little pieces. So bit by bit your DNA can be disturbed and that might explain partly why people are feeling so irritated with each other these days. We can now fix our DNA so it's not genetic. We can repair from this point forward the DNA that was disturbed and the DNA was not affected by genetics, it was affected by electricity. And it can be repaired instantly and gradually our body can clear out the, the unspliced uh, DNA. And I'm using the right the word splice correctly, I'm not sure. So anyway, instantly you can start making connected DNA. So that as time goes on, as the day goes on, it's going to start you're going to start feeling better and better. And then tomorrow, better and better. You know, I put new, two new pyramids on. I was having trouble sleeping uh, the last five days. I had some uh, hernia surgery I needed a long time needed for a long time. And, uh, and I wasn't sleeping well. Well, the last two nights I've slept really fantastic, really well. Um, because each addition multiplies the performance of anything done before. And I think possibly that the ones that you set up will multiply mine, and mine will multiply yours. We'll see how that works. So, start with one. Start with one, and you can rebuild the DNA in your body, and you will, and I believe what will happen is you're going to feel less irritated. Right? Now, are you willing to dig a little deeper? Because this next part, will explode everything else that we've talked about. Now we've talked about physical level stuff, right? Restructuring your DNA is a very physical process. Physical. And so, but it makes sense, right? It's electrical and that's how it's set up. So if you turn off the electricity or, or, or cause shorts in electricity with pulsed waves, it doesn't set up. Now we're going to go really deep. In your body is comprised of atoms. Everything in your body is comprised of atoms. Can, we, can I get an amen to that? Everything. Everything on a physical level, at least put it that way. We're not talking about spiritual level yet. All right? So on a physical level in the creation, it's atoms. The atoms have two main components. You've got your protons, and your electrons, and they are opposites of each other. 
The protons compared to the electron are huge. The electron compared to the proton is super powerful. And that's why they stay in balance. All right, it's like Speedy Gonzales against the Hulk, or Roadrunner against the, you know, whatever. But it's, they, not, not Roadrunner, but anyway, it, it, you get the, one is big and, and bulky, and the other is tiny, tiny, and electrical. All right? So they're opposing forces, and they balance each other. And it turns out, and I read this in a, in a high school textbook that's taught, you know, in the entire state and probably in other states too, that the, the force that's between the atom and the electron is 10 to the 39th power greater than the power of gravity. So that's a thousand trillion 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 times stronger than the force of gravity. All right, so gravity is a force. The atoms are material. And so we just get an idea of how powerful our atoms are compared to gravity. Now we know that gravity is extremely powerful because it holds tractor trailers to the ground, holds houses to the ground, they don't float off into space. So it's a very powerful force, and yet each atom in our body has a force that's 10 to the 39th power greater. And that's why they call gravity the weak force, even though in our real life it is much, much, I mean it's very, very strong. Hey, did I tell you that this is going to be more pertinent to the things that you learn in school? Because now you're learning how life works and you can work it so that it works for you. All right. So everything is contained in that force physically. Now, can water make water? I, I don't think so. So it takes a force greater than 10 to the 39th power because water is made out of atoms, right? Right. So we need something more powerful than an atom to make it. So I call 10 to the 39th a hotel room. It's room 1039 to, to describe this to you. So when you walk up to the room, 1039, you have a key. A, you know, now they got scan card keys. And you could say, well, I'm here now. I'm going to camp right here because I'm right here at the room 1039. Set my bags down. I'm going to sleep in the hall. Now, you're invited to scan the key to open the door. Now, metaphorically speaking, I'm going to suggest to you that the key here is gratitude. So to get inside the room, in this case, we need to scan it, and gratitude is the key to opening it. Because with the atoms, we, can, we cannot prove to ourselves the existence of God. But we can, by practice, see if there is a God. So you have to do that yourself. It is not within the laws of the 10 to the 39th power to, to prove the existence of God. It is impossible. All right? It can lead you there. It took you up to the room, 1039. But if you want to get to 10 to the 40th power, you have to practice gratitude. Are you with me? Because gratitude is not a physical thing, is it? It is not. Love is not a physical thing on that level. We can experience love, but proving it is something else. Gratitude is the same way. So, we practice gratitude. And I'm going to show you an easy way to do that in a moment. I'm going to tell you about an easy way to do that. Simplest way I've ever heard. All right. So, now, 10 to the 40th power is 10 times more than 10 to the 39th power. And I just want to say this to give you an idea of how much bigger gratitude is. 
all right? Now, if we go 10, 10 to the first power is 10, 10 to the second power is 100, so it's 90 more than 10. 10 to the third power is 1,000. So it's what? I, I can't, my, I, I'm freaking, I'm, my mind is blown here as I talk about all this. So you'll have to do the math. You subtract 100 from 1,000. It's 900 times more. Or nine, yeah, it's, a, it's 90 times, 900 times more than 100. Or, or nine times more than a hundred. You get what I'm going at. So, because you know, it's ten to a hundred is ninety more. A thousand is nine hundred more. Right. That's that's right. It's not nine hundred times more. It's nine hundred more. And then, if we go up another one to ten thousand, it's nine thousand nine hundred more. And it keeps growing like that, order of magnitude more. So now we get to 10 to the 39th, it's a number that's incomprehensible, and we've gone to 10 to the 40th. So it's 10 times as incomprehensible as 10 to the 39th. I'm sorry to go through all that complicated stuff. I hope you're still with me. It's just mind-boggling, right? Now, gratitude doesn't stop. And I cannot prove that to you in the physical realm. 10 to the 39th is its limit, and that's... It only understands that level. So you'll have to go through the door with your gratitude to see if what I'm saying is true. And only you can prove that to yourself. So now you open that door and it's 10 to the 40th and you look there and you see the most beautiful setting you've ever seen in your life. You know, it could be a vast ocean I'm reminded of that when I went to the beach in high school and saw the beach through the buildings. You know, there'd be like a little blip of the ocean. And it was like, oh my God, it's so vast. And I was only seeing a little blip. So when you look through there at 10 to the 40th, maybe you're only seeing a little blip. And then at 10 to the 41st, the buildings are gone. And, you know, it could be like for me, oftentimes what I see is a field of flowers. You know, it could be a forest. It could be whatever setting. You could be on top of a mountain. So now you're 10 to the 40th. And I'm going to just invite you to say that there's a 10 to the 41st, a 10 to the 42nd, a 10 to the 43rd, and so on to infinity. And I can't prove it to you that it's infinity. And I haven't seen infinity. I just trust that it is at this point. Because so far, so good. You know, and so it can just keep going and going and going. So you may visualize hitting 10 to the 50th, 10 to the 60th, you know, 10 to the 100th. And each one is remembered 10 times more than the other. So that's what we are working with. First of all, we have granted ourselves permission by allowing our DNA to work to fully experience our 10 to the 39th. That's physical level. From that place, we have the opportunity to choose, using the key of gratitude, to go beyond it. Now, I told you I was going to share with you how you get to 10 to the 40th easily. Because with all the thousand foot thick muck that we are stuck in right now, it's hard to feel gratitude about much of anything, right? Right. So what I do whenever the littlest thing goes wrong in my life, when I remember to do this, I ask myself a question. And that question is, why do I love discovering what's between me and loving kindness? And I ask myself the question twice, and here's why. The first time I focus on the word gratitude. Or, or discovering. Oh, let me just check. I want to make sure that the video is actually running after all of this. Yes. Yes, it is. Because I'd, I'd have to start over if I didn't do that. So the video is running. And 
So I ask the question twice, why do I love discovering? What's between me and loving kindness? And I focus on the word discovering because what discovering does is shifts us. Because when we have a problem or a challenge, whether it's not being able to work at our job, to get paid, or if the children are, are misbehaving, or whatever it might be, for me it's dropping things on the floor. Because I have a broken back and picking things up off the floor is a challenge. And I drop things a lot because of neurological deficits and I drop things a lot. So, and we have evidence. I have the evidence to show that dropping things on the floor is a problem. So don't try to tell me that I should feel happy about it, right? Same thing with you. You don't have your job and, and, and people who are in control of your job are not letting you work the hours you want or getting enough hours or what have you. Maybe, maybe you lost a business, I don't know. So you have the evidence, very powerful evidence. So moving to gratitude is like, forget it, you're not grateful. But when you ask the question, why do I love discovering, it puts your mind, it's hardwired in your brain, you can't help this, it's these atoms working for you, they start looking for, this, for the answer. And for a moment, it sets aside the, the emotions that we have and the thoughts that we have that hit our evidence. So now you're in a search mode. And then you ask, you're in a search mode, and that's when you ask this question. Why? And you focus on the word love. Why do I love discovering what's between me and loving kindness? Love turns out to be a word of gratitude. We feel grateful when we feel love. Now there's a law about gratitude and gratefulness. And that, it, that law is, it puts you in the land of grace. Now you can only discover this if you allow yourself to experience gratitude. Right? This is in a level that's beyond 10 to the 39. So if you're not getting it, it's because you haven't stepped through the door. You haven't scanned the key. So you have gratitude. Gratitude gets you to grace. And grace gives you miracles and blessings. By law. Spiritual law. When you feel blessings and miracles, it feels lighter. It takes a load off your shoulders, off your back. So now you feel lighter, and that is something to be grateful about. Or to feel, excuse me, that is something that gives you energy. Right? Because you've lifted a load off your back, off your mind. Energy is something to feel grateful about. That good energy. Now you're in the land of gratefulness, which takes you to grace. It takes you to miracles and blessings. That brings you back to energy. It takes you to gratitude. It takes you to grace. So we've got energy, gratitude, and grace. E-G-G. E-G-G -G is a zero-calorie egg. You can have as many of those eggs as you want and not worry about your cholesterol or anything else. Eggs don't actually raise your cholesterol. They, they emulsify it. They emulsify cholesterol. So anyway, so but anyway, and this this egg is a concept egg. So regardless of what we think of eggs, it's like this is a concept egg. We can have as much of these eggs as we want. So, let's review. We started out with electricity from conductors and insulators. Taking the orgone, which is a combination of conductors and insulators, and, put, and putting it in motion increases its energy. That's how Tesla invented the you know, he meant the alternating current, things that spin. Things that spin generate electricity. So when you 
if you this is I'm not working with stuff that's woo woo. I'm talking about Tesla. He gave us alternating current, and that's why we we have electric power plants miles and miles apart because that energy can be sent a great distance. So that's physical level stuff. This really does work. Now, by your doing this, as I mentioned before, I believe it's synergistic that yours will multiply mine and mine will multiply yours. Even if it doesn't, yours is working at a powerful level. It's like you're tuning in an expensive radio. It will fill your house and it filled my neighbor's house, Peggy, with her OCD. So working with that, clearing out and allowing our DNA to connect, now we get rid of the irritation, we get rid of the suspicion, we get rid of the fear because we feel more capable and, and fear and capability are two opposites. When you are feeling capable, you don't have fear. All that's going on right now is based on fear, right? Everything the entire shutdown is a fear mechanism. It's like, oh my God, because we're functioning from where we were at now, being bombarded by 5G and 4G and Wi-Fi that is, that is clipping our DNA that gives us fear because our body doesn't work well enough to be capable enough to deal with it. We get rid of the fear by increasing our own capability and the capability of our family and our neighbors, and who knows how far it goes because it went 2,500 miles when someone tuned into it. All right? So we, and how long does it take for this to start working? Instantly, right? Are you with me? It's electrical. So we, we set this up and we take care of ourselves and we feel capable. And now the people who are making the decisions, their fear is leaving too and they will follow you, they know, they, and they're no longer scared out of their wits. There are a lot of people who are legitimately scared out of their wits because of their belief system. Their belief system tells them that they have to be that way. But now you're, they're going to feel more capable because instead of trying to fix a problem from the level of where they were functioning from, we're now going to start functioning from a place of capability. It automatically, by law, cancels the fear. So you set this up, you get yourself one pyramid. It doesn't have to be in the center. Put two of them on the sides. Get four of them on the sides. However many you want to do, get as many record players as you want. You know, if you have, a, if you, if you have the money or the, or the passion, you will do this. I've been living on Social Security for the most part. And I'm doing this to the level that I can do it. You might have the money and the capability of setting this up on a on a uh, a router to do it safely, or set it up on a lathe safely, and you could cure the entire state, or the or the ten states around you. I don't know, or maybe the entire country, because while you're doing this, others are going to be joining in with you. This is a movement. This is a this is a mission and a movement. That we are going to, we're going to have the best Christmas that we've ever had in our lives. If you are a Christian bent. Yes. If you're of a Jewish bent, you will have candles in every room to celebrate. I'm not familiar with the other religions, so I'm just going to leave it at those two. But you have your own celebrations in a way that you've never, ever experienced them before. Oh. I, I, I'm just feeling emotional right now. Uh, I hope this is contagious. We've, we've dealt with contagion. Let's have a good contagion. Let's do this contagiously. Get as many orgone pyramids. Get the authentic ones. The authentic ones have generally have clear uh, or uh, irregular colors in the stones. Uh, quartz crystal is a really, really good one. It's the master crystal and it's clear. Rose uh, quartz is, you know, same. Um, 
go ahead and, you know, get quartz crystal is the one I would recommend the most, but get any of them, any of them, as long as they're irregular in color or if you know about crystals. Uh, I'm not an expert on that. So, boy, oh boy, I didn't know I was going to be going there. But th thank you so much for listening. I hope that you'll share this with your friends so they can do the same thing. We can instantly change this. Today is Wednesday. Saturday, everything could be so much better. You know, if you have crystals, you could do this immediately. Go to Walmart, get yourself a $30 or $40 turntable, and, and just go to town. And, and share this with your the people that you know that are into Oregon, because that would be the most rapid way to get this going. Because some people still have belief systems. So we'll get to them eventually. Well, thank you for listening. Uh, you take care. And I, I, can I plug my book again, The Doctor Who Cures Cancer? <laughs> I won't, I won't plug it again. No, no, no. Do not do that, Kelly. Do not plug your book. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope that, that we've been able to give you an education that is more beneficial to you than many of the courses that you had in school. I'm sure there were some courses that have really helped you. Um, this is for those courses that were not, you know, that you didn't find much use for. So you take care and God bless.